what are your uh, what are your first impressions with the first uh, day on the ice with these guys? What are your impressions? Uh, it's been tough, but a lot of excitement and there's a lot of new stuff that we did today. We had the Navy SEAL stuff and it was a lot of fun. Working with a you know professional coaching staff and Wendy and, and the assistants, uh, that, that's got to be valuable experience and, and something new to you. Just what, what have you learned from them in the first couple of hours or days here that you've been here? Oh, you know, it's a lot of good stuff that they're here and uh, I'm just trying to get the best way I can out of them and every single word they say I try to get them ahead. Has it been a whirlwind since the draft for you? Just coming here and, and getting acclimated to being a, a professional now? Uh, I guess, yeah, but uh, after the draft, I just kept it calm and worked hard and just go out there. What are your plans for the this coming season? Have have they been decided 100% yet? No, nothing's been uh, clarified yet, so we'll see what happens after the camp. But so you've enrolled at school, and you do, do you intend to go to college? No, nah, I'm still doing my summer courses, so that's the thing right now. Do you have a preference? Would you prefer to go to college or, or start in the in the minors? or? No, nah, I don't know yet. So that's something I gotta talk through this week, and we'll see after. What will the factors be in that decision? No, nah, I think it would be just my own decision. No one could make any chance, chance pushing me, but that's again something I gotta decide. Well, what, what kind of factors do you think you'd have to weigh to make that choice? I don't know. I, as I said, that's that's something in me. That's what my heart's gonna say. But to be clear, you are eligible for the AHL this year. Yes. Okay. Uh, now. Having a team trade up for you in the first round, does that make you feel you know, any more valued? Nah, it's just a draft, and I guess maybe a little bit more, but I guess just the first round. Is there a sense of pride, though, in going in the first round in the middle of the pack, especially when a team? Yeah, of course, especially uh, I come from Latwin, um, the highest kid trapped back home, so that's, that's kind of special. What was, the, what was the reaction in, in, in your home country? I mean, everybody has to be inc incredibly proud. That's quite an honor and, a, and an accomplishment. Yeah, everyone was proud that uh, they didn't really get to make it back home. So we'll see what happens if I go home. When when will that whole trip home be? Do you know? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. So depends what I decide to do after I camp. Do they have any parades for you or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Being a first round pick, uh, there you have to come in with some expectations. How do you deal with those uh, coming into a camp like this? Nah, I want to just take it easy and I uh, just try to play my game and try to work hard every day and do my best. When they what? drafted you, they talked a lot about your leadership abilities. Do you consider yourself a leader, and if so, how do you lead? Yes, uh, I lead by example. That's for sure. Uh, I'm a hard worker. I work hard on the ice and off the ice. So those are things about me. You and Mikhail being uh, taken just a couple of picks apart, both playing center. Have you had a lot of uh, much of a chance to, to speak with him and get to know him? And how excited are you to kind of go through this process with him? Well, we just had an ice session and it was a lot of fun. We I played in wing, so it's not a problem for me to transfer to the wing, and uh, it's been pretty good. We clicked together, I think, pretty good. So we'll see what. How he goes this week. Some Have scouts you, talk about that, how drafting a center is a lot easier to convert him to a wing than vice versa. Do you feel like maybe you have a little more of an advantage having played center your whole career? Well, last season I, I, I would say I split the season. I played half the season in the wing and half the season center because we had a lot of injuries. So I'm already known as a wing and center. So does that you know, help? Yeah, that, that, that gives a little more. Uh, Advantage over others, I guess. Have you sought any advice on what you know what's best next year from Jim Montgomery or you know people that are close to you as far as the hockey career goes? Yes, I asked a lot of people about it, and I'm not gonna, not gonna say whether their thoughts, but I take it in my head. And but the decision when I'm gonna make is gonna be what I want. You know Giannis Spruce at all? Uh, not really. I, I know he is a player, but never really met. Him. Can you like officially pronounce your name? Can we hear you pronounce your name? I've heard a lot of. I've never heard you pronounce your name. Uh, it's uh, Zamgus Gergensons. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.